the couple quickly made a comfortable life for themselves in the U.S. by signing multi-million pound deals to make documentaries and podcasts with Netflix and Spotify respectively. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex retained their HRH styles despite their new venture, although they do not use them. But royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams warned their titles will come under review when they hold a 12-month Mekshi review with the Queen in March. He added the pair could be losing popularity in the UK following their move to the US. Mr Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, Harry and Meghan are certainly less popular in the UK but they are concentrating on the US and the wider world. We will only know the true extent of their global reach after the pandemic. The titles of Duke and Sussex are in the gift of the Queen. They received them on their wedding day. There is no call for them to give them up. It would serve no purpose at all and no sign whatever that they wish to do so. They still can keep their HRH titles but cannot use them. This is unlikely to change although the Sandringham Agreement will be reviewed by the end of March. Mr Fitzwilliams added it is too soon to determine whether Harry and Meghan's new brand will have the same level of interest from royal fans. He said, there is no sign at all that Harry and Meghan are anything other than content with their independence which also extends to financial self-sufficiency. They still retain their roles as President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust but lost their roles as Commonwealth Youth Ambassadors under the Sandringham Agreement with the Queen. Their brand has global reach but the actual level of interest in him in the Commonwealth will only be clear when the pandemic is over. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex opted to introduce themselves simply by their first names on several occasions over the past year, in what could be a telling sign that they may not be keeping their titles. <laughs>